know I was going to take this quilt down, but I forgot. You know what we were talking about, what both, what all three of us were talking about, was the way this quilt was, uh, this design was created was with color. She used the color to create the design. See, this is the simplest possible thing. It's just a piece block and a square, a piece block and a square. If you drew a schematic of this with just black and white lines, it's the same thing all over. But it's the way she used the colors that created the design. Oh, oh what do you think about that? Well, uh, that's an idea that I like very much. I like the swirly central medallion. I like the uh, using colors to uh, create the design. I like the uh, browns, reds, and yellows. I like everything about that. Here's a quilt of mine. It's called 36 Views on the Way to Flint. Now, does it make sense to think about it in uh, those similar terms? Huh? Uh, well, a, a couple things immediately. I mean, you, you see um, similar colors, a similar uh, palette being used here. Um, and, there, and there's, uh, at, at the most basic level, even though the pieces of this are not the same size, Joe's used color to organize this composition. Bingo! Um, and the other thing about this is, uh, that you saw but didn't think about. This quilt's almost exactly the same size as the old uh, 1880-1890 quilt, uh, which is another thing that I know appeals to Joe and sure appeals to me, because quilts are quilts are big. They're made to cover beds and cover people, and that the human scale is a really important uh, part of what quilts are all about, uh, socially, historically, contextually, and uh, it's a great thing to carry into what Joe's doing. And I think one of the, uh, expanding on that, if you think of a quilt as related to a bed, which these size quilts do, you're talking about a bed. A bed is not only human, but it's where the uh, essential activities of life occur. And the best ones. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Conception, birth, illness, Sleeping, death. Sex. Uh -huh. Sex. Uh -huh. And death. Yeah. I was putting that in conception. Yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so that uh, is an underlying theme. If the quilt is this size, I think we unconsciously think of the bed, and the bed brings us to some primal things that make them uh, and, and we, important. We also, we, you know, most of us wear clothes most of the time, uh, except maybe in bed. Uh -huh. and, but we have. Uh, a, a, a primal, tactile relationship with cloth. Um, so that is really important too. And, and it's all there subconsciously when you look at a quilt. I think that's right. Uh, something else that I would point out about my own quilt is that I do like the block style. This is all arguably a version of the nine patch block. It's not nine patch, but it's one patch all the way through which is the white background with this black, it's actually, these are tar patches that I took pictures of and had embroidered. Uh, so these are embroidered tar patches, but it's white blocks with the black design on it. There's 36 of those. So in that way, this is a block quilt, right? right. Very similar to that one, and like Bob pointed out, organized with the color. Uh, this is what I mean when I say that I get all my ideas from old quilts. Uh, I get ideas from art, and from the whole world, and I steal ideas from my friends and so on, but uh, most of my ideas come from old quilts, and that's how I do it. Another thing I like about this quilt is that it, uh, the, the, the composition is abstract, uh, just like uh, the traditional quilt that we were looking at, mm -hmm. um, which is a totally, uh, I mean, it's, it's a pattern, but it's, it's an abstract, uh, just organized with color. Right. And what Joe's brought to this is uh, uh, a, both a narrative and a pictorial element. So we've got the, ab the abstraction of the blocks and the block units, but the white blocks all have images on them, uh, which lends another level to this and allows uh, this quilt to tell uh, a, a story um, that either you can make up for yourself or that Joe can tell you. Right. 
All right. Well, thanks for stopping by. Thanks, Bob Shaw, Julie Silver. See you next time.